Hey guys, Jerry here from Oracle Talks Tech. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a review of the software that is available for the Red Dragon Vada K580 mechanical gaming keyboard. I did do a review on the keyboard itself. I will leave a link in the description below. Along with a link to where you can buy the keyboard and also where you can download the software for it. In the video, we are just going to go over the features that are available in the software and how to use them. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, welcome back. Quick look at the user interface it has a couple of profile buttons um, a macro button to change or to set macros uh, has a restore default and then has a couple buttons over here uh, the apply button for some reason is grayed out it does not work usually with an apply button uh, you make changes to something in the software you click apply and the software stays open and you can do something else if you want to um, but as you can see it's not working and on the confirm if you click that it makes the changes but it closes the software I don't really get that one um, but anyways when you open the software, this is what you see. The profiles show you, uh, it should show you what your profile is, but you have to click on light. Then it tells you where you are as far as your profile settings. You can click down on the drop down here and these are the different um, backlight settings that you can choose. Now another weird thing is these names do not match the names of what's in the instruction booklet. I have no idea why, but they are different. Same concept, they do the same thing it looks like, but the names are different. Okay but there are 18 of them. Uh, most of them you can change the brightness level. The ones that uh, do some kind of action you can change the speed level and change the color. And if you click off colorful it's going to stay solid to one color whichever you choose here in the palette. And if you click color it's going to go back. Uh, some of them do have direction settings. If you can see it's changing direction now. Then you have your restore. Click on yes. Then it's going to go back to the very first uh, backlight setting. Now one of the things, well actually there's two things that this software seems to be missing. One is the ability to do any changes to the G keys. You can only do it on the, so on the actual uh, keyboard. There's no way of doing it in the software. Another one is there is no way of changing any of the features on the side lights. Again, you have to do that on the keyboard itself. Uh, oh, and there's no way of changing uh, each individual key as far as the lights go. Click on profile and it goes back to that. Now if you click on an individual key, you can change what the input would be. So I clicked on J, I can put L in there if I want and that's what's going to come up. You can do a macro setting for that key have it do 
multiple things. Or you can have it do some type of multimedia or other type of setting. So like it can open up your mail. Uh, if you're in a browser, it can do a search, you know, favorite, forward, backward, whatever. Uh, volume up, volume down, stop, play, pause, all that good stuff uh, by just hitting that one key. Which you've got multimedia keys. Here, so I'm not really sure why you'd want to change a key, but you can. But like I said, there is no way of setting a specific key to a specific color, like you can do on the keyboard. Uh, this is version one of the software. Hopefully, they are working on a version two or 1.1 or whatever uh, to update and make the changes that need to be made as it stands right now my opinion the software is very buggy uh, it is missing a lot of features so I would not even worry about downloading the software I would just use the keyboard to do any of my changes um, use the little instruction booklet that came with it it will explain everything for you and just use that. I, I wouldn't even bother with the software. I mean, the macro section here, it's so small and you cannot expand it. it it's not very intuitive at all. Uh, I think that word is setting, but I can't tell. Uh, and like I said, if you hit apply, it does nothing. Now if I hit confirm, it would close the software out. So in, like I said in, in conclusion, um, if you do buy this keyboard, personally I would not worry about the software at this time. I would just do all of the changes, settings and, and such on the keyboard itself. It's a lot easier. Uh, it has all the availabilities. Uh, the only thing the keyboard doesn't offer is the profile changes on the go or on the fly as they say. But even in the software it's not very uh, useful. So, Alright guys that is my quick review of the software for the K580 VADA mechanical game gaming keyboard from Red Dragon. If you have any questions please leave them in the comment section and if you did enjoy this video please leave a or click on the like button and if you didn't go ahead and click that dislike button but please leave a comment in the section below and let me know what you didn't like and please don't forget to subscribe and make sure once you do subscribe that you click that icon bell so that way you are informed when I upload something new. So the next video, guys, I will talk to you later.